Hi, welcome to Generative AI series. In this video, we'll discuss about analyzing stock performance using LLM. Especially, I want to explore uh, these two new features that have been released recently called OpenAI functions and long chain multi-agent feature. So the, how they actually help you to ask questions about the real world information. But first, let's look at what kind of questions you can ask. For example, let's say you ask a question like between stock A and stock B, the actual stock names, uh, which one has better returns in the last one month? Or you can ask a question like, between stock A and stock B, which has been more volatile in the last three months? Investors ask this kind of questions because volatility is actually associated with risk. Or you can also ask a question like, what is the VAR, the value at risk of a stock A, if invested X amount for a day? So what's the maximum loss that's possible based on the historical performance? and so on. So these kind of questions you can ask to LLM. So one of the challenge with the LLM is, LLMs do not have the current world knowledge. So they have been trained on the corpus of data, which was older. So if you ask question like, what is the, the weather? of Bangalore today, or what is the price of a stock in the last one month, of course, they don't have access to that information. So to augment that as an LLM capability, what you can do is we can integrate with external systems to obtain that information or knowledge into the LLM. Right. And these external systems can be your knowledge repositories, like a documents or databases, graph databases, or tools or APIs, which can bring in this information to the LLM. And then we can enhance the LLM's capability to answer certain questions about the real world. So let's look at one example here. For example, I ask between Tata Power and um, Adani Power in NSC India, I'm asking a specific question about these two stocks which stock had observed higher volatility in last one month. So explain the steps for your response. I'm not only asking uh, specifically about, you just give the answer, but also explain so that I can validate the answer is correct. So here, of course, to calculate the volatility and what is volatility, now it has understood and it has to determine this response, this number of steps here like retrieve the stock statistics for Tata Power. I asked Tata Power, but it has also transformed that name into the appropriate ticker here that's necessary to bring the information and using this particular tool. So that's an external system. So I'll show you uh, in the implementation section how this tool has been developed uh, by using like a Yahoo Finance um, API. So this bring this tool will bring in the information, the current data into that. But the LLM actually has converted uh, the name that we asked for the stock into appropriate ticker so that I can bring the right information. Then saying the retrieve also the statistics for the Adani power and using the same tool, it can bring from the both the tools, which is again an interesting aspect of multi-agent. It can actually bring this information in parallel which is developed using LangChain. And then once you bring the statistics of both the stocks, it's saying now compare the volatility measures. How? Now LLM has this knowledge because it's already learned from the corpus that the standard deviation actually denotes the volatility. Now the, in the statistics, it looks for if there's a standard deviation there, calculated already. So it looks for that and says, yes, the standard deviation for Tata power is 0.93. And Adani power is about 1.4. And so based on the standard deviation, 
we conclude that adani power had higher volatility in the last one month compared to tata power and i also give some justification here saying that please note that volatility is a measured by standard deviation of daily changes in percentage so the response you can actually if you ask step by step response so not only you can get the result of your question that you are asking but also uh, whether it is doing the right steps or not so now let's look at the actual implementation for the implementation i have developed a notebook stock analysis using open ai functions and langchain multi agent so you need to install of course the y yahoo finance y finance and langchain need to update that because this is a recent feature that they have uploaded into langchain for multi agent and uh, first import all the necessary uh, <clears throat> features like open ai you will of course use open ai as the llm and the yahoo finance to create the tool that will be integrated with the um, yahoo finance and then necessary langchain uh, functions like uh, agent type or uh, you know uh, we, of course you are not using that then define the custom method for obtaining stats of a stock so this is important so define a method called uh, get stock stats and it takes two parameters ticker and the number of months for which the statistics has to be written stock prices and the statistics and then uh, it calls the yahoo finance and get a data about that the number of months is by default is 1 but based on our question uh of course the llm will send the appropriate parameter to uh, pass to this particular function and then it calculates the daily changes by taking the change from close minus open divide by open percentage uh, you can also do like close minus the previous day of close uh, what the change has been so that again of course based on the implementation itself and then it calculates the average daily change the total gain over that period of time that means from the first day to the last day let's say you're talking about one month in the 20 days uh, trading period um the first day is um, opening and the last day is close okay it takes the difference of that the total gain in that uh, particular month one month two months three months based on the question that we ask it also calculates the average daily changes how the price movement have been every day Uh, so this kind of information would be helpful in understanding uh, other aspects like volatility and all that and the standard deviation and then we return the statistics to the uh, from the function so once you define the function what you can do is you can actually create a tool so this is an external tool that will integrate with your you now llm interactions now and we can give it a name like a stock stats and that's a function so this is a function that we now put it here and you have to give a description this is very important because we are not um asking or instructing the llm you know to call this function we are saying that there is a tool or there is a function here which can actually help you to get the information that you need in case you need it okay so llm will decide whether it needs a function we are not forcing llm to invoke this function so i'm saying that this function can get total gains average standard deviation of daily price changes of a stock for a specified number of months that's why i'm saying that and you also have to specify when you invoke this function what parameter to be passed and those are also mentioned here so this uh, comments are extremely important from the perspective of what is actually passed to the llm to decide whether to invoke this function and if invokes the function how to pass this parameters like a ticker the input uh, should can be in the correct ticker symbol of the stock national stock exchange india and the integer month the second is the duration in months for which the statistics of historical price need to be returned or computed Okay. we are not specifying anything we're basically saying that this has to be passed like this and then once it define the tool we can initialize the llm in this case i'm using the chart model open ai the temperature zero and this is the model that has been released again last week with some updates uh, so this gives a better performance so chart gpt 
uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then we can initialize the agent. Okay. So you can have, uh, so once a tool has been initialized, we're going to give the tools here. Um, so we can actually give multiple tools if required. Okay. Probably we'll look at or explore uh, some of these um, concepts in the future, but as of now, there's only one tool here, stock stats. And um, then we'll initialize the agent, the tools, the LLM, and open AI functions. So now these tools, uh, the definition of this particular function has to be created in the open AI function format. Okay. Again, we'll explore a little more detail probably in future videos. As of now, you just have to specify open AI functions. So the kind of information that we passed to the um, LLM uh, based on the uh, defined schema of the open AI functions. And now let's ask a simple question. For example, once we uh, initialize the agent with the tool in LLM, and so the LLM can actually take help of the tool if it feels necessary to use the tool to answer a specific question. For example, it says that, what is the return from Tata Power? I'm asking a simple question, stock in NSC in the last one month. Simple equation, what's the return from the Tata Power stock? Now, if you have, I have set the debug true here so that you can actually check step-by-step step what you're doing. And, um, it basically says that now to do that, to do that now, you have to run this function in which you have to the pass these parameters, Tata Power, right? And you um, can set this particular uh, value as a parameter to the function uh, called here <coughs> stock stats, right? That's a tool name that we have defined here, stock stats. And entering the tool with the input prompt, with the input, and you can see that it returns the values once you cal the tool calculates. The total gain is 9.8 average and all that information. And then that information is again passed back to the LLM so that they can take the final, they can prepare the final response. And it says that the final response, the return from the Tata Power stock NSE in last one month is a 9.8%. So this is the response that we wanted. Of course, it also has provided additional information, which is not necessary for my question here, but of course you can control that by saying that only give this particular response or answer to that. So here, if you see, um, this particular question is first sent. Um, this particular question is first sent to the LLM with instructions saying that, uh, in the instruction, it also includes the functions uh, definition saying that to answer this question, if you need this function to be invoked at all, we can invoke that, which will provide the necessary information to reach your response. And then uh, it, it brings the, it sends the function, yes, you need to call the function. So we call the function again. And then once you get the response, which gives you the, the statistics about the particular stock. Now those stats or response from the function or the external tool now will be sent back to the LLM again to determine whether that particular information, information is helpful in responding to that, right? So then LLM can prepare its final response and give the answer back. So this is how we can actually integrate uh, external tools into the uh, LLMs. Now let's ask another question. Uh, interesting question. What is the value at risk if 1 lakh Indian rupees is invested in Tata Power for a day based on its performance in the last one month? Again, explain the steps. So here, of course, I've uh, set debug to false and I just want to look at the response. And because I have also asked, explain the steps, he's saying that, okay, I'm invoking the tool first uh, with this particular uh, taker, which gets a response from the tool saying that the total gain is 9.7% in the last one month. The average daily changes in percentage was 0 0.041, and the standard deviation is about 0 0.934. Now, based on that, it has found that for the maximum loss that can be obtained 
can be can you have is basically based on the default confidence interval. So average daily changes, 0.041, got the information. And the standard deviation is 0.934. So the, it, it understands, okay, these two information that's written by the tool accomplishes this. Now to calculate VAR, you can use the formula because that knowledge is with the LLM, which is already learned, learned that was uh, fine-tuned and saying that you can calculate based on this. And by default, VAR is actually calculated on the 95% confidence interval. So it goes and calculates that and says that it's a 1,498, okay? Uh, of course, you need to have some knowledge about VAR here uh, to calculate that. And it's saying that the calculated VAR is 1,498. So that's a loss minus. This means that there is a 95% chance, okay? That the investment in Tata Power for a day could result in a loss up to 1,498 rupees. Of course, Please note that it also puts a disclaimer very nicely. Please note that VR is a measure of potential loss and does not guarantee any actual outcome. So this is uh, what is interesting because this knowledge is there how to accomplish tasks step by step, but to accomplish the task, it needs the real time information which can be augmented through this particular API. Now, uh, if you ask questions, for example, uh, agent run, for example, two different stocks, all right? So in this case, of course, we have to change this particular function here to <clears throat> multifunctions. So rather than using the agent with open AI, simple functions, the multifunctions, which is a new feature in Lang chain now. And then you can ask between Tata Power and Adani Power and S India, which stock has given more return or better return the last one month? So here, what you can do is you can uh, invoke the function, the stock stats in parallel. You can basically it'll ask you to invoke the function for both the tickers because the tick, uh, the function can or the tool can only return the statistics about one particular stock. So you can asking you to do both invocation now. And then both the responses, the other starts are returned back to the LLM. And then based on that, for example, here, the Tata power, this is the uh, statistics and the Adani power, this is the statistics. And now based on that, it's basically saying that Tata Power has given a higher return compared to Adani Power in the last one month. So, which is where Tata Power is given about 8.33%, Adani Power has given 5.164%. And this is the last question that we already looked at that. So, between Tata Power and Adani Power, which stock had observed higher volatility in the last one month? Please explain the steps for your response. And this is interesting because it retrieves statistics about both. And because we ask about volatility, it automatically says that the volatility means it looks a standard deviation from the statistics. And then compare them and say, based on the standard deviation, we conclude that the Adani power had a higher volatility compared to the Tata power. And also basically justifies that saying, please note that volatility is measured by the standard deviation of the daily changes in the percentage in this case. So this is an interesting feature. Of course, it opens up a completely new world because LLMs can be augmented with a lot of information from the external world now, uh, live data especially. And you can also use lang chain multi agent when you have to invoke the function for multiple different entities. So in this case, for, for many stocks for comparison, between the stock statistics. So uh, thank you for watching this video. And um, in future, I will also introduce some of the advanced topics uh, and how to solve, uh, uh, take external documents and knowledge repository and answer certain questions. So thank you and see you next time.